and welcome to What's New in ArcGIS Enterprise 1081. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Jill Edstrom, and I'm a product manager on the ArcGIS Enterprise team. This release has a lot of great new features that I'm excited to share with you guys. It includes a redesigned ArcGIS Enterprise Portal user interface, a map viewer beta, the ability to sync bulk published items, a license expiration warning, and ArcGIS Server Manager. ArcGIS Enterprise being able to send emails, new features into the ArcGIS Enterprise SDK, the ability to migrate content between ArcGIS Enterprise Portal, and new apps within ArcGIS Enterprise 1081 as well. Now, that's a lot for just me to go over, and I'm going to have my friends here help introduce all these new features. Hey, guys. Hey, everybody. Hey, everyone. How's everyone doing? Excellent. The gang's all here. OK, Allison, are you good to kick us off and tell us about the redesigned user interface in the ArcGIS Enterprise Portal? At 1081, one of the first updates you may notice is the redesigned ArcGIS Enterprise Portal user interface. The redesigned portal also includes updates to graphical user interfaces, providing a consistent experience with the rest of the platform. You'll see this updated GUI when viewing organization settings, when creating content, when sharing items and content, when moving items, when changing owners, when resetting user passwords, and when assigning members to a group in bulk. It's all pretty slick looking. Indeed it is. Thank you, Allison. Trevor, are you all ready to tell us about the Map Viewer Beta? Yes, I am, because Map Viewer Beta is very exciting. Map Viewer Beta is the next generation of the Map Viewer, providing an enhanced experience for key map authoring workflow. Map Viewer Beta is built on the ArcGIS API for JavaScript 4X. It provides fast, flexible, and immediate symbology and filter changes, compelling pop-ups, and new tools with smart mapping. Map Viewer Beta has a fresh new look that provides a logical flow from left to right when authoring a map. Tools for key workflows, such as adding layers, changing base maps, and saving, are located on the left. The map is in the middle, and refining tools, such as change style and configure pop-ups for layers, are available on the right. Map Viewer Beta was built with Calcite Web Components that will be used across the ArcGIS platform. In 10.8.1, Map Viewer Beta will be available as a separate, optional install on top of ArcGIS Enterprise. It will need to be installed on the machine where the portal for ArcGIS component of ArcGIS Enterprise is installed. Once Map Viewer Beta is installed, administrators have the option to enable or disable it through your organization settings. If installed and enabled, members will be able to access the Map Viewer Beta in one of three ways. From the App Launcher, where there is an option to open Map Viewer Beta, by clicking on the Map tab in the Enterprise Portal, where you will see an option to use Map Viewer Beta, or by opening a layer in the Map Viewer Beta from the Overview tab of a layer. Now, those aren't the only exciting new features in the ArcGIS Enterprise Portal. And there's even more. <clears throat> Another new feature is the ability to sync bulk published items. Since 10.7, you could publish ArcGIS server map image layers and feature layers in bulk from a database data store item. Synchronization would not update the web layer schema or the item details. You would have to overwrite the service. In 10.8.1, if you have bulk published layers, you can synchronize metadata and schema updates. Synchronization adds or removes layer items based on your access to the data in the database. It does not update the names when those change in the source feature class or table. And a pro tip, be aware that if the feature layer is deleted, offline edits cannot be synchronized and will be lost. Be sure to get those offline edits pushed before any synchronization occurs. Good call. That pro tip will be good for our field worker friends out there. Hey, Marcus, it's all you now. I am here to tell you all about license expiration warnings in our server manager. Hey, that's exciting stuff. It most definitely is. At 1081, 
ArcGIS Server Manager now provides an informational message when one or more of your ArcGIS Server role or extension licenses are about to expire. You can view the status of your licenses on the software authorization page. If a license role or extension is expiring within the next 30 days, there will be a banner. This banner will be serviced for up to 30 days after the expiration. That's great. No more having to have your licenses expire and being unaware until it's too late. That brings me into the ability of being able to send emails from Arches Enterprise. In 1081, you can configure your portal to send emails by integrating with your organization's SMTP server. This will enable new email-driven workflows and notifications, such as forgot password, password policy, and license expiration notifications. To configure the organization's email server, navigate to the Arches Enterprise Portal Admin API as either a user assigned to the default administrator role or one that has security and infrastructure privilege. Under the system resources, there is now an option for email settings. Here you can configure the portal with an SMTP server to enable email workflows and notifications. A game changer for some of our administrator friends. Most definitely. Hey, Han Han, it's all you and ArcGIS Enterprise SDK right now. Cool. There are a lot of great new features to ArcGIS Enterprise SDK in 1081. They make SOEs and SOIs easier to develop and allow SOEs and SOIs to work with more service capabilities. One of the first things you will notice for ArcGIS Enterprise SDK is that services with SOEs and SOIs can now use shared instances. This can be found in the new Support Shared Instances property. Other new capabilities include image service and utility network service support. SOIs can now be developed for image services, and utility network services can use SOEs and SOIs to work with the utility network dataset. Lastly, there is also Maven integration for Java SOE and SOI development. This feature integrates the SDK dependencies and packaging tools into multiple Maven artifacts, which provides the ability to build SOE and SOI projects under the Maven framework. Be sure to check it out for yourself. Caroline, I hear you're going to tell us about the ability to migrate content between RGS Enterprise portals. At 1081, there's a new feature to migrate content via groups. Content will need to be shared to a group in an ArcGIS Enterprise environment. Let's call it ArcGIS Enterprise A. From the Portal Admin API, an export file can be generated. The export process will consider item dependencies and attempt to include the necessary items in the export package. That export file can then be imported to a second ArcGIS Enterprise environment, ArcGIS Enterprise B. The import process will maintain item ID, item dependencies, and look to update reference URLs to reflect the import environment's operational URL. And if the item to be imported already exists, users will be given the option to overwrite the current item. Just so you all know, the import environment, ArcGIS B, needs to be at the same version or greater of ArcGIS Enterprise as ArcGIS Enterprise A. This will be great for moving content from a development to a staging to production environment. Wow! And last but not least, Mark, take it away. Let's go over what's new for other apps in 1081. Two new apps in 1081 are ArcGIS Story Maps and ArcGIS Experience Builder, both of which are available directly through the app launcher. ArcGIS Story Maps is a story authoring application where you can share your maps in the context of narrative text and other multimedia content. Along with ArcGIS Story Maps comes the Storyteller user type. It is designed specifically for users to create stories using ArcGIS Story Maps. These users can create stories using maps, scenes, and apps created and shared by members of their organization or create embedded maps on the fly. ArcGIS Experience Builder is an application that allows you to create unique web experiences using flexible layouts, content, 
and widgets that interact with 2D and 3D data. Start with templates to create mobile adaptive apps. Modify template layouts for a custom design on different screen sizes. Or build apps from scratch for more creative freedom. Wow, that's some neat stuff. Man, thank you all so much for helping me cover what's new in ArcGIS Enterprise 1081. But don't just take our word for it. Take the time and check it out for yourself. And with that, goodbye. Bye. Bye. Take care.